Hi right, guys, welcome back. It's uh, Leo FX Model Miniatures. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, another busy day uh, today. Uh, getting this Y wing done. But uh, okay, as for paint, I'm going to back haul it done. Um, really happy how uh, things have gone with it today. <coughs> Completed uh, the weathering. Um, Started to the rest of the paint. Well, I've finished the rest of the paintwork on the cockpit and um, made a lot of adjustments as to when I last painted uh, my own. Uh, now, my own is the one at the back here, um, which is painted in Archive X enamels. And um, I did a lot of things different on mine. Um, I painted Ed's, the uh, very kind. Uh, friend who uh, did a lot of the casting on these for me um, but I painted Ed's and I was really happy with that uh, but then I tried uh, just some different things with my own uh, which is another resin build um, but I just threw one together for myself and I just went a little too south with the foundation misting and then trying to pull it all back um, I mean, it looked great, but uh, yeah, I wasn't over, over happy with it. Um, if anyone wants this one painted in enamel, <laughs> message me. <laughs> I'm building another one for myself anyway when I'm done this with this run of five. So uh, yeah, by all means, get in touch if you want one. Um, but yeah, uh, this first one here from the run of five, I've restrained myself a lot. Um it's primarily grime misting. There is some foundation misting on it, but I've really reined myself in. I, I went crazy on that one. I don't know why I went so heavy, really. Uh, yeah, we all make mistakes. But yeah, anyway, <clears throat> reined it right in on this one. Really nice tones. Uh, I've just gone over today. Um, some of the streaking. I've uh, weathered in the, uh, the domes. I'll spin it round in a second. I'll, I'll move this other one out of the way. Uh, let me just adjust these and we'll have a run around it uh, but yeah if anyone wants a jedi y-wing you know there is this one available uh this as i said this one's still painted in um archive x but this one's completely in enamels uh all the same hues as well you know they're completely all the same hues there's no differences in the uh in the colors uh but yeah it was nice just to get these side by side uh, to see how they looked but anyway if we just get the camera in here now and today's uh work a lot of the um spattering and speckling on the domes a lot of topical work there with the uh with the artist brush um really Really nice to work with an artist brush with this paint, with the uh, acrylic, it's it's wonderful. Um, all the uh, topical work along here with an artist brush and then some airbrush work over that. Uh, that came out really, really nice actually. Um, there's two colours used on this chipping. Um, I'm, obviously I'm not going to say that I'm 100% correct on the tones, on the colours, but it's uh, light reefer grey and uh, sp dark lark is what i've used there i've decided against any engine black on it in the end uh i think i can see some darker tones but i've used those i've used the sp dark lark to create the darker tones i think engine black will um uh, ruin things a little bit that they're going to be it's just going to be too stark um what else i did add some very uh subtle rust tones um with the what i do to find this kind of shizzle is i take um you know the the image <coughs> excuse me i take the image and i saturate it and what that normally does is it drops away any uh mist layers and stuff and it became apparent that there is yeah some rust here here and just behind the neck and also some very very faint rust in here but that's it you know it's a it's a very very simple uh paint job on this model the ilm 
actually created. Um, so keeping it uh, keeping it fairly simple is the order of the day. Let's get a bit more light on it. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm absolutely over the moon. I'm really am. I'm, I'm very happy with that. It's just uh, a very simple, basic paint job that's quite tricky to replicate, uh, mainly in getting the tones right. But I think it's about there. Um, acrylics. I, actually, I preferred painting this model in acrylics than I have enamels. Everything behaved so much better for me. I had a lot more control. Um, which was nice. Um, so yeah, it, it was a much, it's been a much more enjoyable experience um, doing this. Uh, you know, I've painted. Well, this is the third one I've painted now. So, you know, I'm evolving with it. You know, I'm changing some stuff. I'm I'm reining back on some stuff, and then I'm doing other stuff a little bit starker, like these streaks here and this chip of latex. You know, this white chip. I haven't done that before, but I did notice it on the reference. So I've done my, it's very blurry reference down this side of the engine cam, but I've done my best to replicate that. Uh, the underside, if I just pop it off the, off the mount, the underside, that's come out pretty nice actually. Again, it's very basic underneath this model. You know, there's not a, you know, not a lot, um, you know not a lot of elaborate things going on with it uh, but the underside of the cockpit came out pretty nice again it's a very basic paint job underneath here what I did I used SP dark lark started to mist it and then I added some latex there is some kind of there's something going on with this in the reference but again it's a very fuzzy grainy image so it's not too clever um, so obviously you, you have to use a little bit of um, you know artistic uh, license but yeah all that topical work that came out really nice um, the domes the spats and spots very happy with those and um, yeah R2 well not R2 but just a generic astromech the astromech in this it's quite weird actually it's it was base coated in a reef of white um, but then it has got like a more of a foundation body, unless the, a lot of the foundation mist and hit, misting hit this uh, when it was in the model. Um, but what I did, I actually misted that with foundation first, then the rest is just all hand painting with an artist brush. You know, to the same level ILM did it. You know, there's you know nothing crazy. I'm not going to go mask up a tiny R2 unit. I've painted it as per uh, the miniature. And uh, what's going to go on with this one now is, now the paintwork's, yeah, pretty much done, done. Uh, the little parts here are going to be added. Um, I did speak about them before. Um, they're just like a, it's a small part from um, a 1350 Tamiya uh, battleship. Um, there's eight of them that have got to go on. But they're, um, they're a nightmare masking up this yellow band if they're fitted. So I omitted those until the paintwork's done. So those will be cleaned up, painted, added. I'll do that tomorrow. Um, there's some little brass uh, or copper um, connectors, um, electrical connectors here on the original. So I'm just going to add those. <clears throat> and then the fake bulbs that go in the engines but I, I may as well ask people if they want those adding i mean the, you know that i suppose it's a personal taste but those have got to be added um yeah these are all the spats and stuff that you can see on the prop that i've done my best to replicate and uh yeah i'm really yeah really happy with that it, it's got a you know a nice overall look to it the tones have really worked well so I think tomorrow, I mean, I won't do a video update of it, but yeah, tomorrow I can uh, fully finish this one and um, get it out to the client and get get my first feedback on these and see what people actually think of them. Um, 
But yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Again, any questions, um, don't hesitate to uh, give me a shout. But I just thought I'd uh, just give you guys a, a little update on uh, how things are looking in uh, Y-Wingland. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you all soon.